So, I was born in 1991, June the 20th, in Chidwell. Isn't that a nice day? I think it's the best birthday of the year. It's like six months, birthday, six months, Christmas. Okay, fine. I love it. I think it's the best birthday you can have. I was born in May 28th, 1992, in central London, on my brother's third birthday. What a liberty. <laughs> My mum was in the hospital giving birth to me while my brother was celebrating his third birthday party, which he said that I ruined. Yeah. As a kid, I was the best kid. I slept, I ate, there was nothing I didn't like. I loved beans on toast, with cheese on top, still like that now. I was the oldest. I think I was the only child until, I think I was four and a half, then my sister came along, Grace. And at first, it took me a while to warm up, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I did a few things, like put a blanket on her, over her head. <laughs> Um, that's really bad. Um, but then, what my mum used to do is she'd get me, she got me a dolly. So to adjust to the process, I would feed my dolly when my mum would feed my sister Grace. And then my brother come four and a half years after her. So it was like, I was like the boss. My mum said it was a nightmare, like I just bossed him about. I was Spice Girls number one fan. I was in their fan club, I'd have their t-shirt, the DVDs, I'd everything Spice Girls. But I loved a Barbie and I loved schools. I used to play schools a lot. I did um, Irish dancing, I was so bad at it. Like, I was so bad and my nan and my mum really wanted me to do Irish dancing. And i never forget they put me in competitions, like I was so bad at it. And you know bed sheets? Um, my nan would cut the bed sheets out and like, like braid my hair and put, I remember the pain. I'd be sitting on the floor and she'd be whacking, like pulling my hair like this, trying to get like a curl. Then I did kickboxing, ballet, dance, singing. I was never good at sport. But, you know, God loves to try and I did try, I think. But yeah, I, I did a lot. I was busy. So when I was young, yeah. I used to love bikes, love doing wheelies, mm -hmm. love motorbikes, love asking questions. Love interrupting conversations. Wow. Um, hate sport, hate school. Used to love when plumbers and that used to come around the house so I could watch them. Um, and love watching next door neighbours do their gardening. You have to, to, to be smart, you, you have to ask questions. Mm. But I'd ask questions about everything. So I was just, I used to just notice everything and ask questions about it. I didn't like people my age, I liked older people I could learn off of. I truly believe my school was the best. I went to West Hatch High School. I loved it. I was never academic at school. I remember actually one teacher saying to me, you're lucky you're pretty. Which ain't actually the best thing that I think about it. No wonder um, you end up on telly, <laughs> teachers like that. I went to an all boys Catholic school. Did you? Yep, in Holloway, North London. Oh. I went to two different schools because mm. I got moved to Essex in year eight or nine. Mm. And I don't like listening to teachers, and I like to do things my own way. So no way. So I got through school selling drinks and um, cookies. and sweets and, and cookies, cookies. Yeah. My dad told me when I left school that I was never going to be anyone, and I was going to be skin because I never had any grades. So I told him in McDonald's car park, yeah, <gasps> when he was shouting at me, like, I don't need him. I will be a millionaire by the time I'm 30. Off the back of that. I got pushed into being an architect. It was the worst one you've ever, ever met in your life because I didn't know algebra. I went to college with Charlie Sims. We both bunked college together and ended up being a bit of a dad and that. And then I ended up being a labourer. And then that's where I found my hunger for money because I was working up the West End building house, houses for uh, billionaire Russians. And then off the back of that, I enrolled into college without telling the company, and then I presented to them that I was gonna be a carpenter, and they paid for my college. And off the back of that, I started off three businesses, and then in the middle of my fourth, ended up meeting Georgia and coming on the show. I grew up wanting to be a TV presenter, and my mum and dad always said, you're never gonna be a TV presenter, you know, if you don't do grades. And then I remember when I got on Towie, I went to my mum and dad, <laughs> but I also liked fashion. And I wanted to be into fashion, so I went to college. Couldn't get into college, a bit similar story to Tommy. I had to get in through an interview. Passed the interview fine, grades weren't good enough, so they let me in, kind of like, all right, well, we like you, we'll let you in. Lucky for me, my Greek nan, my AR, used to have a um, factory, so she was really good at making clothes. 
So what I used to do was I used to bunk off and go to the lakeside and get my Greek nan to make me outfits. So all my work would be amazing, but all the coursework just never added up. Anyway, they clocked on, I got told to leave. Um, after that, I thought it was the best thing that happened because, you know, it's a waste of time if you're not enjoying it. I then interned at all the magazines and I got a job at Fabulous Magazine and I was really impressed because I was the youngest fashion assistant that ever got employed. And then my dad bought me a shop and then that shop led me to Towie and the rest is history. Georgia actually taught me the business of fashion, of how to do the buying techniques and things like that when I first launched Mallet. Then when I got my shop, um, a girl called Grace rented a room off me doing teeth whitening. And you know, she was chatting to me and she was like, I'm going on this show. She went, but I really need someone to go on with me. Anyway, she was like, I've put you forward. I was thinking, for what? She went, to go on with me. Then a week later, I was on the show. The first proper scene when we met the whole cast, Towie held us in a pub and it was Mario's party. And then we had to walk through in front of the whole cast in Mario's party. Awful, I was so scared. I turned the show down the first three times mm -hmm. and then something happened and I got offered to do the show again. And at that time I was talking to Georgia, so I just done it. I come on Ibiza mm -hmm. and got with Georgia straight away. I was that straight away? Right. The first day I didn't like you. I remember calling my mum from Ibiza like, I think I'm in love. And she was like, what are you talking about? I was like, I've met this guy, he's really loud, really annoying, not my usual type. But yeah, now look at us. My Tao experience has been amazing. I've loved it. What's my best part? Obviously meeting Georgia, being able to launch my business off the back of it, um, meeting some unbelievable people, having some wicked trips. Mm. Twice a year we used to go away, which was the best yes. at like 24, 25. People that aren't on Tawi, they would never understand the things we've experienced together. It was, it is like a family. All the old cast that have left. Especially the early days, more so the early yeah. days than now. Nah. Yeah, those, those were the days, man. They were the, they were the days when we was much younger Young, and we free. didn't care what, it was before any of us had businesses, before any of us even had our own houses. We all lived at home with our mum and dads. It didn't matter what happened. No. So it was all about just just having a good time and, and falling out of each other. When I look back now on the original, there was a picture of us, all us girls walking through like in Marbella. There's, we've all got this bond that we can't describe. We just, we've got it. We've all experienced things together that you can't talk, we can't write. I'm excited for the new chapter though. And I feel like, yeah, it's like a new life, isn't it?